What's up, y'all? Got a banger from NMI Talk. Let's get straight into it. I had it with my own son. You had sex with your own son? Own son, yeah. How did it happen? Oh, I... What? Like, sometimes I, I post on my WhatsApp status that I feel like I miss my ex girls. I feel like going back to any of them to, I mean, have sex with them. They say, ah, mommy, in fact, I will, you, I will use me as a vibrator. I have the real vibrator. I say, hey, wow. And what is your real vibrator? Is the natural vibrator? That is the penis. Right. And I, that was when I realized that my son is not that old, old but he, he has a big. He has a big thing. Yeah. So how long was that session? Six oh, minutes. it was just once. But just he has been calling me and telling me, like, oh, mommy, I've missed you. So anytime you, you need me, yeah, I can no, come no. and make you happy. Yeah, come and make. Did you enjoy it? Oh yeah, I did enjoy it. You did enjoy it. Yeah. You missed, you know, that feeling. But he's my son, so I can't continue. You, you can't continue having sex with him. But did you come? Did, was he able to do it to the point where? Oh, he was able to satisfy me. He was able to satisfy. But he's my son, so. But you, so you can't continue having sex with him. Um, but anytime I feel like having sex, and I, I invite him. We will come have sex over. with you. Yeah. Is it something? Oh, wait, 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 dude! Oh, full stop. What? What did I just? What? She's bucking her own son. Isn't this illegal? Isn't that like incest or something? Bro, I'm flabbergasted. And now she's saying, here's where it gets a little suspicious. So she said she's bucked her son, right? That's bad enough as it is. But then she says, I invite him over sometimes. Hmm. I'm not the, I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. But if he's done it once and you're inviting him over, he's probably doing it again. This is sickening. Absolutely sickening. I don't know what country they're in, but I'm pretty sure whatever country they're in, this is very taboo and not acceptable. Now that I, there's no man in, in my, my life. Yeah, my son is I wonder is why there's no man in your life. You're bucking your own son. Shots fired! Shots fired! What man's gonna wanna come in and be like, hey, uh, I might not be as good as your son, but I'll jump in there. Like, come on, stop it. To make me happy. I like how she's just casually talking like this is normal behavior. Ladies, don't be like me. So last night, I got way too drunk, and this guy was talking about like, yeah, I'll send you some money. I'll send you some money. And I thought he sent me twenty five hundred dollars. I I like I lay down. He's like, oh, you gotta go to sleep. Um. I went to sleep and he wakes me up at like seven. Please tell me he requested twenty five hundred. That would be a king move. <laughs> Let's see though. <laughs> Here's a quick trick. If anybody ever asks you something on Cash App, PayPal, anything, send them a request for the money they're asking for and they'll be like, oh, sometimes they'll accept it. It's, it's hilarious. He's like, you gotta You gotta leave because my 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 wife and children will wake up soon. And uh he literally throws me off the door. I didn't even check my phone. He didn't send me $2,500. 2, he sent me a request. So it's just like, why the richer the men are, the cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. He sent her a request hoping that she was stupid to say, yeah, and, and, and like send the money. You got to love it. Let the king do his thing, man. Where? They are, and he has me out in this Hasidic Jewish community, and oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna puke. <laughs> yeah, don't sell your body out for money. That's what you get. This looks like a laundromat slash hotel slash. Do y'all live here? What's going on? Like, just imagine you walk in as a father to see your daughter getting trained by 15 different dudes. Keep your DMs and your secrets. Bye. That's what I'm saying. If she can't, if you can't go through your girl's phone unfiltered at any time and look at anything. She belongs to the streets. Like that level of trust, you have to have that. Be able to grab her phone at any time. Be able to, you know, make her social media stuff private. If you can't tell her what to do and she doesn't say yes, then she belongs to the streets and keep it pushing, bro. Kiss goodbye, no? I'm 
telling you, bro, if you really want to know who a girl is, just check her phone. It tells For you real. everything you need to know. Who are you f***ing tonight? So you going out. He gotta get your oh, number. Oh, gosh, you got body. Hey, that's my baby girl. Don't talk to her like that. Oh? That's your girlfriend? Uh, hey, hey, oh? hey, that's wifey, boy. I might have to reevaluate. Hey, that's my baby girl. Don't talk to her like that. <laughs> Bro, your girl. She belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. She is straight up rizzing up this other guy. And you're talking about, that's my baby girl, bro. That's my baby girl. <laughs> we have to, it's just, as much as I may dog modern women, I'm going to dog the simps too. Guys, we got to stop simping. This simp epidemic is going crazy. If you see your girl out in public moving like this, you got to drop her like a bad habit. Get her out. Anyway, she over here showing us her. Hell yeah. Oh, man. Your baby girl, that girl's for the universe. <laughs> that girl's for the street. This dude straight picked her up. Oh my god. She belongs to the streets, dude. Good lord. Acting like a child, bro. Got the little elephant backpack on with the little the little skirt on looking like a look just looking like a child just act that's why i always say women grow old they never grow up grown-ass woman acting like a kid for real you had in, in one, one day in one, one day yeah you want me to be real like 19. be totally honest we don't care she belongs to the streets in a day well i had like a group of wait Wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> 19? Not, not that time that we was together. Huh? It was it was separately. It wasn't the time that we was together. No. It was separately. So it was like I had like 19 or 20 in one day. In one day? Yeah. Well, I just a group of probably I'll say 10. But like everybody had their own room. I just nah, I had 19 room, room, room. cuz they all they all went into the red room at at the house that I was at. So so room to room to room to room to room. Okay, when 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 <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 What? Are these women bragging about being absolutely ran through? Like a set of stairs? What world do we live in right now? This is insane to me. 19 in one night? Let me know in the comments. 19? Is that, is that too many? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. What do you think about 19? You might as well have a thousand bodies at that point. 19? In one night? How does your body even go through that? Good lord. That, this is this is some of the most out of pocket videos I've seen in a hot minute, dude. When, I'm a look, I'm did a you look. enjoy all of them or no? No, you don't. All right. You're not supposed to. Oh, yeah. Can so I be real? They call a bukaka? Wait, wait. Can a I be real? A, book a bukaka, a bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little bit different. <laughs> that's when uh, that's the sh when the shampoo comes out. Can I be real? Yeah, go ahead. Maybe be real. Every single one of them paid me. when it's like? Oh yeah, no, of course, yeah, yeah, no, of course, man. Every single one of them paid me. So you're a prostitute. Wow. Hey. Yeah, like yeah, like satisfy you far as like. We gotta bring back shame. We have to. We have to. I begin to pass out. Then my head hit the wall. Boom. But I had a praying grandmother. Yep, now you definitely not- She look like a unicorn. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Quasimodo from the eyes up! Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> oh my lord! Getting no man tonight. You don't find Is anyone else? Uh, I'll tell you one thing, she is not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good lord. Kinda suspicious how we never learned Hitler's you last night. Yeah. Are we still paying- Wait, wait, wait. Are you that- Stupid. Come on tax dollars to fund the American education system. <laughs> we should just stop funding it at this point. Like, what's the point? <laughs> Stupid. Clearly she did not go to school or pay attention. Good lord. Keep in mind, this girl does OnlyFans and sells her body, and oh. this is what her brother has to say for it. Wait, so did you really have straight A's? Yeah, I did. All throughout high school. I think I graduated with like a 4.5 something. Because the clip with your brother, I mean, he did have a point. You got all those good grades for what? To sell yourself online? All that study. For what? We just started. So do you just come on here to piss me off? Like, you're supposed to be my brother. No, no, no I come here to... I like, you're supposed to, to show me love, not be against me. I come on here to tell you the truth. What the f*** are you talking about? What's when the you, truth? So when you leave here to go to Miami, you're living out your life. 
But yeah, then you I'm just forget you, you just forget whatever happens in North Carolina and what happens to me at school. Like like I get like bullied, but not like bullied, like punched at, but people just say shit and that pisses me off. And like I just wish that stop because whatever you doing here affects me at North Carolina. I've been getting name called a lot more at school. Some random girl said See you later, Pinky. 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 Most three or fours don't care about No, not that kind of pinky. Um the other kind of pinky. And see, I've talked about this way back in way previous episodes, like this OnlyFans generation of women, they're going to have children, they're going to have siblings, they're going to have families outside of this little OF community that they've built, and they will actually suffer from the shame that this girl is bringing upon her family, right? Her younger brother has to go to school and he's getting ridiculed. Eventually, it may get to the point where they're printing out pictures of his sister and putting them on his locker. Can you imagine? Middle school and high school is rough enough. I got bullied, but the thing is, I got bullied for things that I could change. You're skinny. You're scrawny. You got a big forehead. You got a crooked nose. You look like you're cross-eyed. You know, like these things. Well, maybe the cross-eyed thing. You can get surgery for that, though. But but my friends always be like, you have a lazy eye, and I don't feel like I have a lazy eye. Do I have a lazy eye? <laughs> Anyways. A lot of these things I could go out there and change, right? If you're dumb, you can go learn, right? If you're skinny, you can go work out. If you're fat, you can lose weight. Things like that. These are things that you have control over. But a lot of this stuff that these guys are going through, these especially these younger brothers with older sisters that are doing OnlyFans, they're getting shamed for something they have absolutely no control of. Your sister's going out there and she is... She belongs to the streets. She's running amok, showing her body online, and you have no control over what she's doing. And you have to suffer the brunt of the shame because people are just going to make fun of you. And it's happening all over the place right now. It's crazy to me. It's absolutely wild to me that these women can't understand the effect that them being promiscuous online is having to their friends, their families. It's crazy. Nothing but themselves. Yeah, I'll explain this. I got caught in another dude's name, and this is what I get. Ooh. You got to love it. This is what I get for being caught in another dude's name. Accountability is a plague. For being caught in another dude's name, this is what I get. Damn. Ruined her. Ruined her stuff. Okay, but my question is, why is she still laid up For in real. the bed? Why didn't you kick her out of your house? If looking this good is a crime... Wait, 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 honey. What is on your face? Shots fired! Shots fired! Looking this good is a crime? Why do you have printouts of your TikTok and you... What is going on? <laughs> Handcuff me and take my ass to jail. No, fuck that. Take me straight to prison. Because I look good, bitch. Excuse me, ma'am, but I will be doing none of that. So we're here with the beautiful ladies. All right, so I got a question for y'all today. So if a dude trying to court y'all and they trying to send y'all money for lunch, like what's the bare minimum he should send? 200. Start with you. 300. 500. 500. Like... The minimum? The bare minimum, yeah. The bare minimum. Okay, you trying to grab. So what about you? I say like... It depends where, but around 300. Around 300 for like for like if, a, if somebody trying to send you lunch money. Lunch money? Oh, a band. A band? Yeah. A, band? a band for lunch? A thousand dollars for lunch? Where are you going to eat lunch, Ruth Chris? Jesus Christ. A band? <laughs> a band? You 500? And what you think? Okay, 50 bucks. That, I mean, that's still a lot for lunch, but at least she's a little more realistic. Good lord. So, what's the minimum you're gonna send somebody? <laughs> Girl asked me for, for some money for lunch. I'm sending her a 150 off the break. 500 for lunch. 150? You know how much she's getting? Nothing. Buy your own lunch. You got a job? outrageous <laughs> you only need probably like twenty dollars for one person real quick do y'all believe in women's intuition yeah. hell yeah if you can feel that your man is cheating why can't you tell when he's unhappy intuition. the look of disgust on this girl's face is priceless i pay for only fans and i'm not ashamed to admit it i have 76 subscriptions because it's art i like the art where i watch some chick get her box filled by a horse hung dude you can go hang your nerdy picasso on the wall well go right ahead <laughs> what 76 subscriptions 
Oh my god! This is the problem right here. This is the face of the simp epidemic. Fellas, stop. It's not art. It's shart. Corn is not art. Good lord. Yeah, keep funding girls' lifestyle that don't care about you. I was gonna fuck his best friend and his cousin. I should have fucked him at the same time. That's what I should have motherfucking did, but I was trying to be a lady. That ain't for the say they ran the train on me. No. I would be a lady and let you hit one at a time. That's a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Bro, you can't make this stuff up. Even these people are dying. She goes, I'm a lady. Y'all have to hit it one at a time. Are you kidding me? You belong to the streets. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's a lady, ain't it? Oh God! Oh God! This, this, that, I know these bitches. Some of us ain't no lady, bitch. Your nigga out here get paying for pussy, bitch. You might not want to call for me. Somebody said they ran an Uber on you. No, they never ran an Uber, <laughs> bitch. They, they, they one of. <laughs> Somebody said they ran an Uber on her. <laughs> they did a tag team, if anything, bitch. I go to the clinic daily, all the time. So yeah, Hold that's up. definitely. Why are you going to the clinic daily? Being safe. I be out here fucking, so I need to make sure. <laughs> That's what everybody needs to do. Go to the clinic. Yes. That's the problem. Y'all scared to go to the clinic. I'm agreeing with the comments. They ran an Uber on you. A man refused to walk his friend back to her dorms when she felt unsafe, all because she rejected him once. In his Reddit post, the man explained that he'd been friends with a woman named Danny for the last three years. On a typical Saturday night, he, Annie, and some of their friends would hang out, and then he would walk her back to her dorm before heading back to his dorm. However, about a month ago, he realized he had feelings for Annie and asked her out on a date. She friend-zoned him. It didn't bother him too much, however, he did want to cut back on their friendship a bit. But he has stopped walking her back to her dorm. The first couple of weeks, she walked on her own. One week, she asked him to walk her back because she was scared to walk alone at midnight, especially while drunk. He told her to get an Uber or to ask someone else because he was too tired. Yeah. While it's understandable that he would want to cut back on their friendship a bit after being rejected, a friendship shouldn't be conditional on romantic interest and reciprocation. It's as if he suddenly stopped caring about her safety and well-being because she didn't return his romantic feelings. The man has been accused of exhibiting nice guy behavior acting kind, but then believing he deserves a relationship in return for his friendship. People on Reddit called him out, saying if he was truly friends with Annie, he would still care about her safety. He's more than welcome to work through his feelings, but that doesn't justify his actions and his complete disrespect towards Annie. He blatantly showed that their friendship doesn't mean much after his ulterior motive was void. Gentlemen, don't be that guy. A woman doesn't owe you anything in exchange for friendship. She wants the perks of a boyfriend without- That's what I'm saying. This woman wants a boyfriend, but doesn't want to fork up being a girlfriend. Uh-uh, absolutely not. If, I, if I'm if i walking you out at midnight and you're not letting me be your man, then uh-uh, I'm good. So good on him. I agree with him. Go on, move on. If she's going to friend zone you, let her find the guy that'll go out there and walk her. You know what I mean? At midnight. Why are you out at midnight drunk anyways? What are you doing? Nothing good ever happens after midnight when you're inebriated. Uh, don't worry, I'll wait. Tell me one good thing that happens. Do you just slip into a good business opportunity? Is there like a recruiter out there looking to hire you? Like, do you find the CEO of some Fortune 500 company going, oh my God, just the way you have that swagger. Like, no, nothing ever good happens at that time. So I don't blame this guy for pulling back. Now, he's trying to do the bait and switch. Don't ever be a nice guy. This is why I always say be upfront with your, uh, your intentions with a woman from the jump, from day one. Be like, if you see her and you're attracted to her, be like, hey, I'm attracted to you. And if you will look, you're looking for a friend, uh-uh, I got enough guy friends. I would be so brutal with girls in college. I'd be like, I don't, I don't need any girlfriends. And they're like, what do you mean? Like, you're not friends with girls? I'm like, no, that's why, that's why I have my homies. Like, I'm not trying to be friends with you. I'm trying to get in your genes. Facts. And they'd be like, oh, well, I'm not into that. Cool, on to the next. And just next them. That, just next them. Immediately, just, mm, next them. And if they're like, well, well. I wanted to be friends. Like, okay, well, go find a guy that you want to be friends with. Because it ain't going to be me. It ain't going to be me. Stupid. What are you talking about? Get out of here with all that craziness, bro. I'm not about to be your friend. Go out there and get you another guy that's going to be your friend. Because I'm not going to do it. Like, we're either going to be getting it on or I'm moving on. It's as simple as that. I'm not trying to be friends with you. I got guy friends for a reason. Like, you got to be upfront with these women. So don't try to do a debate and switch. Don't ever try that because it never works. You're the nice guy. You're her friend. Blah, blah, blah. You think she's just going to call you up in the middle of the night and be like, Jason, come over. I'm ready for you to beat the cheeks. <laughs> no. 
That is never <laughs> going to happen. Ever. She doesn't respect you enough if you're in the friend zone. She does not respect you enough if you're in the friend zone. Stay out of that. Avoid it like the plague. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We are at 19,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.